our sixth exercise, okay, uh, diagonal flying, it shares a name with a, a posture from Tai Chi, but it's a little different, yeah, um, it's, it's less complicated than the Tai Chi movement, um, but it has a similar shape to it, you know. So diagonal flying is probably um, one of the harder ones from the set to get the shape for, but it's designed essentially to open and close the body, particularly the qua, um, which we've already looked at a little bit with up and down. Now we're going to open and close it. Um, and also for the center of the body as well, it has a, a stabilizing hand for the chi, and then the other hand guiding the opening of the center, so that your body can learn to open and close, unfold from the inside energetically. Yeah. So in order to practice it, first thing we do is step a little wider, into what they call a mabu, uh, a horse uh, leg position, horse stance. Mabu in Qigong, yeah, it's not like wushu, you know, like exhibition of martial arts, where they're using mabu like this to build strength in the um, hips and the legs and things like that. Instead, what they're doing is building a bridge, so 45 degrees with the upper leg goes down into the lower leg. So my pelvis is like the keystone on a bridge, um, and it's just supporting the structure. So I'm comfortably uh, sat. I don't want to be down here, yeah, but at the same time, I don't want to be stood up. Think of the arch through your legs. Get a mirror and uh, check out your posture and, and try to copy the way my, my legs are shaped. Yeah. So I step wider and I bring the left hand in on my center line, right hand in uh, on the center line too, right hand lower the level with the lower dantian, left hand just in front of the throat. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open one qua. I'll do the movement first. Yeah. I open one qua and drop. I don't change my weight. Yeah. It's not like martial arts where I'm trying to form a gongbu or anything like this. Okay, all I'm doing is I'm opening from the center of the and dropping into the middle. Yeah, so this position in martial arts we call ban mabu, half mabu. Yeah, I mean my weight is still in the center, half horse stance. So I turn, okay, I close my right qua and my right hand goes up, yeah, level with the throat or just a higher than the throat if you like, and the left hand out at the height of the hips. Yeah, and then it stays the same height, so I close to the center my right hand comes into my throat, left hand to the bottom, and then I turn this side again, closing the left qua, right hand uh, high by the height of the throat, right hand down by my hips. Then in, see they change, they stay high, same height on the way in, and then they move diagonally on the way out. Yeah, so now this one is out, this one is down. I'm turning my head, I'm looking at the camera sometimes to talk to you, because uh, strangely, even though you're not here, it feels rude. Uh, I'm looking at you when I'm talking at you, but I don't know, go figure. But your head should be going with the hand that's extending away from you. Yeah. So I breathe in, and then I breathe out as I move the hands away from me. I breathe in, and I breathe out. I breathe in. I breathe out. See, each time my hands are changing height. As I come in, they level on a horizontal plane. As I breathe out and I open the qua, they move diagonally. So this is when they swap here. Yeah? Then I breathe in. Okay. That's the shape of the movement. Okay, the diagonal flying. The thighs, the inside of the qua, the butt, are likely to hurt at first. Um, so you might need to spend a bit of time building a bit of strength up uh, in the legs. Um, but it won't be long before they get comfortable and sitting here is quite a, a natural, comfortable place to sit, yeah? As I turn, let's do the quad first. This knee stays kind of still. See, it does not move as I turn. Maybe it drops in a little bit, but it doesn't do this. It doesn't kink in. You see a lot of people do this. This is no good. It's not particularly good for the knee. Um, but aside from anything, the exercise is for the quad. Yeah, so what I do, the quad joint, keep this knee still. And I turn, closing the front qua. Yeah. So what I mean by that closing is if I put my hand here, and then I close it, my hand's almost trapped uh, inside the inguinal crease. Yeah. So this knee stays tall. I close this qua. So my pelvis is now facing with this leg. Yeah. And then it comes in, back to the center. I do the same the other side. This knee stays tall. Turn your pelvis. Close this qua. This qua is closed. Yeah. Then in. See, so each time I'm just turning from the hips, it's the pelvis that directs it out. So my hips are facing this way. I turn my pelvis in, and I turn my pelvis out. Turn my pelvis in, turn my pelvis out. This is how I'm building the shape inside the qua. It's a very different feeling um, from if you turn your feet. If I turn from my feet, everything kind of falls to bits. It doesn't really 
uh, correct, connect properly. If I just open a qua, you end up all bandy legged. Yeah? So the pelvis has to be the director and it turns the lower body. It's worth spending a bit of time practicing this movement. Maybe rewind this section. Just play it a few times and make sure the pelvis is directing the qua, which directs the legs so the body can line itself up properly uh, as it's turning. Okay, the arms. When I turn around to the front, okay, my extended palm is up, facing upwards, Lao Gong up. My fingers are turned a little towards the camera, yeah, and my thumb is extended. So from the front, my hand would not be like this, it's like this. You know, my thumb is pointing and the fingers are in. My arm is not locked straight, the elbow is relaxed. Okay, we never lock straight. The idea in Qigong with opening movements, stretchy Taoian type exercises, is that the joints have to keep opening and opening and opening, but never straight. So if I lock my arm and then open the spaces in the joints, they'll reach a limit where they can't go any further yeah? if I keep pulling my arm falls off. I mean, that's, that's the limit of the shape. But if my shoulder is sunk, my elbow is sunk, <coughs> and then I keep opening, the idea is they can keep relaxing, keep relaxing, keep opening, because the opening, it sounds odd, but you'll feel it after a while, it starts to happen in a, a spherical uh, fashion. It's like the joint starts to unwind open rather than extend open. Yeah? So it means I can keep unwinding. The circle can keep getting bigger. The circle can get in, keep getting bigger. Yeah? My left hand is quite far from my body. If I turn to the front, this is my position. Yeah? So from the side, I line myself up with the camera. Yeah? So I return in. Okay, so I'm coming back towards you. Okay, my hands are this far from the body. And then I'm turning the pelvis, left hand away, right hand in front like so, yeah? So not here, here, okay? From the side, my hand is in front, not back, I don't open. It's settled here, level with the qua. So I come around, settle to the center, and then turn the pelvis, right hand away from me, left hand here, yeah? Turning as I breathe in. Breathe out, opening the qua. I sink a little into the qua at this time. Relax the body. Then turn, breathe in, and then breathe out. Okay, when I'm done with this exercise, bring my feet in, return to Wuji, and just breathe, ready for the next exercise.